This video is brought to you by Coolstream. Hey guys, Joshua Bain second. I've got Anchor 1600 milliamp hour battery. This is the Astro E5 external battery. This is a really, really big battery. It's probably the largest size that I've ever owned. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. I've done some testing with this battery so I can tell you what the performance is like as well. But I want to show you what comes in the packaging as well so you know what to expect all the way around. So on the front, you got your preview of the product. You got the bottom. On the back, a QR code, and then also some of the other products that they provide, which is you know, power interface, USB hubs, protection, and sound. And you can find more information at iAnchor.com. This here is just some more information about the power IQ. You got the battery itself. I'll just put it off to the side for a second so I can show you what else comes in the packaging. You get a nice little carrying bag here so you can put your USB cable and the battery in together. You also get a USB cable, but I haven't put it back in the box because I've been using it. All right, so let's talk about the battery for a little bit. One, again, it's 1600 milliamp hours. That's a lot, a lot of juice. This thing's gonna be able to charge, if let's say you got one device, it's gonna be able to charge it quite a few times, or if you got a couple of devices, you can charge them two at the same time. Both ports have the IQ technology, which just in short, basically that means it's not gonna overheat your device or it's not gonna overheat the battery itself. So it's going to protect your device so it doesn't overcharge or put out any kind of outage that you don't need going in or out of the device. If you want to charge this battery up, you just flip the USB cable around and plug it up to a wall charger. You also get an LED light here that is like a flashlight. You just hold down the button there, hold it down again and turn it off. So it's just a nice little feature just in case you, let's say you have this on the road, your car breaks down at nighttime, you need a flashlight, you have one here, or if you just need a use it for any other situation in the house, use it as a flashlight in the house. When you press the power button, you'll see the indicators come on and they represent 25% of the battery left. So 25, 50, 75, and 100%. And that pretty much does it as far as the physical aspects of the battery. You know, it does have some weight to it, so expect a heavier battery, but it's not that bad. The other thing that I don't really care about is this gloss finish. And as you can see, it really does put off a lot of fingerprints. So I'd rather prefer, you know, something with a matte finish or a flat finish. So that way it just looks better. I don't really care for the gloss finish. So while I was testing this out, I was able to charge quite a number of devices. I charged my PS4 controller, a couple phones, my iPad, and even my Moto 360 watch all off of this so it's really cool that I can get pretty much all of those things charged up off of just one charge it's pretty stinking awesome if you ask me because I, I don't know like sometimes I just like to use these battery packs as my charger because it's more portable I really like having this in my travel bag or just my work bag because I'm able to have uh, basically an emergency backup while at the barbecue I was taking pictures videos I was on the phone a lot just a lot of activity, so it obviously would drain the battery. So having a battery backup bank was really essential for that kind of trip. So I would say that everyone needs something like this in their bag. And if you want to pick one up, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find it. It's a really good price. Anchor makes really good batteries, so I trust them. Very quality, good product right here. To demonstrate how to actually get this operating, Basically, you know, you got your two charging ports here, so you can actually have two devices hooked up to it. So I got two USB cables. Get that one hooked up here. And what you'll see is that you'll see the LED light indicators come on and also the device. So I got it plugged in. Now sometimes it'll automatically come on, but if it doesn't, all you have to do is hit the power button here on the side and it turns it on. And as you can see there, it is charging. Right, so I'm going to plug in one more device. So I got my other USB cable here. And I got my PS4 controller. And you can see the orange light come on, indicating that the PS4 controller is charging. So that's how it works. And again, you can see the how much battery juice is left on the battery by the indicators here on the LED lights. And that is how you operate the battery. 
Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Yeah.